recording? Okay, we're recording. Look, I'm just kind of looking right in here in front of the teleprompter itself. Jeff, uh, uh, how does the audio enhancement work? Well, we started the company Audio Enhancement with a wireless microphone system where the teacher is able to wear a microphone. Touch the camera only or can you? Oh. Uh, he can do it to me. It'd be, it'd be good to me. Go ahead. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to. It's still going to be off the. You know, he's not going to be recording. Just keep going with the whole. I mean, all three. So do you want me to go through the three chapters the audio, the safe, and the view path thing? I would. Okay, I'll just do that. Everything we got in the camera we can work with later. Right. So we don't have it. We're going to be I don't know. What do you guys think about that for a newscast thing? This is—he's he, he's talk, he's talking about this is our mic, right. which doesn't work here, but it. Yeah. Does that look good or bad? Well, tell me what you were thinking just now. Well, I was just thinking product placement. But that's okay. But he, I put him in the classroom. What I understand, so if he's in the classroom, it's hard to have what you guys had on. But if you sit, if I'm going to put him in, behind, in the corporate office, which I can do with, with that green screen behind him, I may not want that on. Okay. But, so then maybe not, or maybe just kind of, you know, start with well, the microphone I, the teacher would wear. Yeah, I think you'd probably put me in the classroom. Yeah, yeah. not a problem. All right. All right okay, so uh, once again, how does uh, uh, audio enhancement work? Well, audio enhancement works. It's a wireless microphone system. It's built for teachers so that they can wear a microphone and no matter where they walk in the classroom, every single student can hear them clearly. So it's just like putting every student on the front row. Then what they can do, what that's transformed into what we have something called the safe system. And now that technology allows the teacher to actually push a button on her transmitter and send a silent alarm signal to the office if there's any distress in the classroom. And then from there, some of the classrooms have cla um, cameras in them and with the cameras in the classroom, teachers and, and administrators have come to us and asked us to create the system now that's called ViewPath. What ViewPath stands for is a video interactive education window into the classroom. And what happens is now the teachers that have a camera in the classroom are now allowed to record themselves so that they can get best practices, so that they can refine their teaching, and then in case there is an emergency situation, the camera also kicks on and can send the authorities the information that they need. There's some other features with ViewPath also where uh, administrators can do remote observations into classrooms with the teacher's permissions. They can ask for permission rights, and then they can use the, cl the camera in the classroom also that way. Okay, so that's the part. Uh, um, and you can go ahead and start your tape on that. Uh, you just, you went into the second. What's really interesting about this product is, is the fact that the students themselves and the teachers can utilize the product later. Can you tell me who can watch the recordings and why should they do so? Okay, so the product can be used later on after a recording is made. So say I'm a father and when, sometimes my kids come home and say, Dad, can you help me with my math? I start to show them how to do the math and they say, that's not how my teacher taught me today. Now, wouldn't it be nice, so this recording is then on a server, I can go back in and watch how the teacher has recorded and uploaded the certain parts of that, that formula or the math problem. Then the students can watch it from home with their parents or by themselves and watch and re-watch that lesson. So it's for the students and it's for the parents at home. It also can be done for other teachers. Um, we have a district that uses it that has their best U.S. history teacher. They record their best U.S. history teacher every day and then all the other U.S. history teachers in the whole district watch that person. And then as they go to teach their lesson, day or two later, they have all the stories, all the examples, so it makes all teachers better. So it's, it's just a phenomenal tool that teachers have been asking for for a long time. Okay. Um, I'm not positive I answered your right question yeah, or your question. So how would a teacher record would be a good question to ask so, and answer. Yeah, so for all, I think you went in there and said this, this math, the math, the example was great, but you put the teacher could upload. You said the teacher could upload rather than the teacher can hit record on his own. The teacher okay. can record, stop the recording, the rest of it's taken care of. <coughs> all right. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, just make sure that we're on with it. Yeah. No, it'll go reverse. It'll go reverse. All right. Um, oh, you're still recording right there. Okay, very good. So, uh, how would, a, how would a teacher use this? So if a teacher wants to record themselves, 
then they can do it one of two ways. They can schedule a recording. So Tuesday, 9 a.m., it just starts to record because they want it recorded. Or on another situation, the teacher just goes up to their computer, off their, off their dashboard, they push record me, and it just starts to record. So it's all under the control of the teacher. Very good. All right. And we probably want to ask the same question for an administrator on how they want to do an observation. Okay. This question: um, How many student or how many school or school districts have the ViewPath technology? I don't think so. Well, there's there's a couple handful now, but I don't think we want to go because that number is going to expand greatly, and then this will be outdated. So okay. no. Right. Um, okay. Uh, just off the cuff, I want to kind of ask a couple other questions. Interesting that I've kind sure. of come along with. Go ahead, you were going. Yes. Yeah, okay. Right. Yep. Same. Uh, tell me, th this is a very unique idea about doing this. Why did this get started? Okay, well, the, the concept of ViewPath just happened. It wasn't our idea. It was really teachers. As soon as they had a camera in the classroom for security purposes, they said, why am I not using this camera for educational reasons? Why can't I record myself? And same with the administrators came and said, why can't I do an observation remotely so that I don't change the environment in the classroom every time I walk in? So that's why that's how ViewPath started. Is it was a completely a, a driven by demand from educators. And how do you see the product working in the forthcoming years without all school districts? Uh, in the forthcoming years, I see that teachers all across the country will have ViewPath because they're going to need. Everyone's going to realize what a tool it is that they can record themselves. That students can study at home and restudy at home. Even your homebound students need to be notified. So let's pick that up uh, again. How do we see the technology taking off throughout all schools across the nation? Well, I think schools across the nation will see ViewPath and really want it in their schools. I think that teachers are going to want the cameras in there, even for their own protection and for educational value to be able to have the cameras in there. And then I think administrators and parents are going to like the fact that the, it raises academic achievement because they can, the kids can study and restudy the same materials over and over again and really be able to see what's happening in the classroom while they're, you know, while they're at home. Okay. Yeah, that, that, was, that was real powerful. It really tells the story behind it. Okay, uh, Dr. Rob, let's put a microphone on you. There we were. <laughs> 20,000 feet, ice over every piece of the aircraft. Getting a call from uh, ATC Tower that uh, I, um, the aircraft was not being able to uh, communicate effectively via radio, so I went to 7700 to stomp the microphone for a mayday call. An emergency code on the IFF came out of 20,000 feet, started shedding ice. Aircraft started falling apart as I passed through 10,000 feet. 2,000 feet over the ocean, I flared, leveled off, and headed for the bay. Hey, sir. I'm recording this. Hey, hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> when right, when, Dr. Rob, when I talking. finally landed, I kissed the ground. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Dr. Rob, uh, um, why did you install the ViewPath system at uh, Nikan School uh, Classrooms? Well, Vern, thanks for, thanks for asking me that question. I'm so excited about this product, you, you wouldn't believe it. As a superintendent of schools of uh, Nye County School District, some 18,400 square miles, you know, we're the largest geographical school district in the contiguous United States. And our schools and towns are so far apart that security uh, uh, for the classrooms and uh, emergency response for uh, all those schools is a very difficult thing to, to achieve. And I was attending uh, the um, the National Association for School uh, Superintendents meeting and came across uh, the, the, the vendors that were selling this uh, particular equipment, the ViewPath, and we had already installed the audio enhancement devices in a number of our schools in Nye County in, 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 a, in order for those students to be able to hear the instruction that was going on, whether they were in the front of the class or the back of the class. And, and myself having uh, hearing uh, difficulties as a result of uh, 
uh, combat and, and aircraft and tanks and those other kinds of things, um, I knew how important that was. Now, finding a, uh, uh, a system that would also allow for a, a teacher in a classroom to be able to ensure that safety um, and or appropriate response uh, was a, a miraculous thing. And you know, the, the SAFE system is providing us with some opportunities that have never existed before. You know, it's really too early to find out how the effectiveness of mm -hmm. this system is working in your school. But in your general observation, can you just give me a brief synopsis of how you feel the students and the teachers like the system in the classroom? Uh, absolutely, Vern. Uh, we installed um, approximately 140 of the units in 140 classrooms across the, uh, the schools within uh, our town and one town that's uh, four hours away in Duckwater. The, um, of those classes, we have 21 schools, and of those 140 units, the uh, behavior problems in those classrooms have, uh, have lowered significantly. Um, students don't quite know when they're on view and when they're not on view. Um, much like in our buses uh, or, or outside school grounds where we have the uh, video cameras. The uh, ability for a teacher to continually talk for hour after hour after hour has reduced, uh, at a normal, normal tone as opposed to raising their voice, has reduced their number of sick days. Um, the ability for uh, an administrator to remotely observe a classroom without interrupting the, the uh, normal flow uh, in the classroom has been uh, an added benefit as well. Students always act different when the principal's in the classroom. And, and rather than um, having a, a set up lesson for the principal to come in and review when doing an evaluation, in working with the teacher, they're able to, to schedule periodic reviews uh, with the, the request of the teacher to, to be evaluated or just to look for uh, ways to improve their instruction. It's been a significant help. How about the aspect of the program where a student can catch up on a classroom um, teaching that took place because they were sick or absent, are you going and are your students going to be able to utilize that part of it here to enhance their ability to learn at home even while they're sick? That's, uh, uh, that's a part of the program that I think will offer a real advantage in the future. Right now we're not tied into that, but I've seen that work before. Uh, when I was an instructor at the Military Academy at West Point, they filmed every class that we had back in the day with the large video camera, the, the movie setup, if you will. And we used the video tapes for athletes who were gone on trips, as well as students who were tick, sick. But I see that same um, ability to be used in our district, uh, but as we, you know, we're working through that, uh, that project. We started in August of this year with the construction of a new elementary school. Uh, and the uh, rebuild of the high school, and now modification of our middle school. So that, that whole system uh, has been in place for about seven months now, and um, I see that as the next step to be able to uh, provide that instruction for students in the home. So you will take advantage of it? Oh, I, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Um, since the system's been installed, have you had any classroom emergencies in which you've had to use the system? We have not had any classroom emergencies that have required us to contact law enforcement, which is uh, our, um, I'd say, ultimate responsibility to provide safety for students in classrooms. That's the number one responsibility. Of course, student achievement is the reason they're in school, but if a student's not safe, uh, the academic learning is not, um, not important. So if we have, the, if the teacher has the ability to merely touch the button on her, um, microphone, this little tactile uh, raised bump, if you will, and that would immediately turn the camera on and then send an alert to the principal through a, a box that the principal has in, in her office and tells what room the emergency is in at school. Um, and an alert is also sent to me as a superintendent. I then can get on my iPad or iPhone or Blackberry and go directly to the website and view directly into the classroom myself as well as the principal to determine the level of response necessary for the, for, the, for the incident or the threat, which is miraculous if you're able to know the exact circumstances within a classroom to determine the level of response. It could be a slip and fall, it could be a student hurt their arm, or it could be a shooter on campus.
to what extent is it easier to teach utilizing the system? To what extent is it easier to teach using the system? Well, I think if you have, if the teacher has the ability, which they would with this system, to record themselves and then in their professional learning communities evaluate one another as colleagues to try and determine best practices for each of the grade levels and or lessons associated with the grade levels, I think that you would provide for uh, improved teaching to enhance student achievement, certainly. Um, some, just, uh, just, just some other basic questions off the grid here. Mm -hmm. The investment in such a system with the return on that investment, how do you feel that will be effective towards your overall budget in education? The, uh, the monies that you use to put in the um, technology to enhance uh, the instruction, to enhance student achievement, is, is very, very important. And the way we have been able to do it is when we bonded for the construction of new schools, the, uh, that part of the construction is merely like buying a computer in the classroom or other uh, devices for the school. So it's part of the construction budget. The, um, in trying to retrofit schools, you can use your construction dollars that you have for operations, maintenance, and repairs, and or technology. Um, and I believe that E-Rate is usable for that. It's uh, E-Rate's a system that superintendents that out there who may know what I'm talking about or others, um, for, for every piece, uh, for every telephone bill, there's a small percentage that goes toward um, educational technology purchases at school districts. Okay, another question off the grid. Can you tell me, how do you feel that the system will be beneficial in a circumstance that you have a parent and a child where the child says, Mom, I never did that in class, or the teacher's lying. How will this system be beneficial towards illustrating to this teacher or to, to the parent how disruptive this child was? Well, I think it, I think it is uh, a paramount uh, importance to be able to validate um, the, the, the story from the student's perspective, from the teacher's perspective. And it's, it would be um, much like we have on our buses uh, or covering our playgrounds now, where they have the ability to provide um, you know, video coverage of that. And, um, and we've used those instances many, many times to sit down with the parent and uh, a, a child who has acted out or has claimed that they have been injured or some, a bullying situation where you, you can uh, allow the parent to sit and see the video. And uh, it, it tells the tale. So it, it protects the student, it protects the teacher, and, uh, and hopefully provides a safer learning environment for the students. Okay, um, let's just, I'm gonna take it a step even further. Sure. Um, and again, these are just for can guys, okay? Uh, what happens in a case where you get a student that basically may make a false claim against a teacher? How does that benefit towards Knight County School District as well as the teacher themselves? Well, certainly any um, student who made a false claim against a, a teacher um, would, um, I'm trying to how to say this, a, uh, if a student made a, a false claim against another student or a teacher and you were able to document uh, what occurred or what didn't occur, it certainly would vindicate the employee or hold the employee accountable in case of uh, the circumstance that it was true. So it, it, you know, it's a methodology whereby it keeps uh, everyone on the straight and narrow. Okay. Um, can you finish that question by it keeps everybody honest in oh. the classroom? Okay. Right. Can, you, can you reword that? So it says sure. That? So go ahead and try that. Um, by having a system that uh, provides for um, documented... Um, well, let's see. Stop for a second. Um, can you think of the word? If anything, that's what I was going to say. That at first I thought, gosh, is that strong enough? But mm -hmm. either way, it works. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Keeping everybody honest implies lying. Right. Mm -hmm. Truth always prevails. Truth just prevails. Yeah. Yeah, and, and if you can do that, I mean, try, sure. try down that road, but it does. It keeps the classroom uh, truthful amongst the student as well as the teacher. So, what do you have? How, what was the exact words that you said? Truth will always prevail. Okay. Um, 
When you have uh, the video recordings of a classroom that the, the uh, teacher has requested or the administrator has requested or there's some incident where uh, a student made false claims against another student or a teacher, uh, by having that documented uh, uh, evidence, it would certainly uh, go to the, the fact that the truth will prevail. And is, is, does this system have uh, battery backups and stuff like that in your classroom, or if they lose power, everything goes down? It's all tied to the battery, so if we lose power in the school, it's, it's not intended to be a full-blown security system. Okay, so I don't need to go that way. Well, okay. it, it, it is on battery back. This, this, all the cameras are powered by network switches that are battery backed up, and the servers are on battery backup. So it, it does have, the cameras will continue to record on battery backup. But the amplifiers in the classroom are not battery backed up. Right. Now here, here was one thing I think we missed was like, um, and I don't know if it's for you to say or me to say, but probably for Dr. Rogers to say, is the, the value of a teacher. It's, I talked about teacher evaluations in Peter too, but the, the great value is that it can be recorded. Not, and I kind of missed that. Yeah, I didn't think of it either. Is it, is it, I'm remotely watching them, but game film, this is game film. Okay. So when you, if you're going to, you're going to evaluate Sean. Sean, in the example I always give is, okay, Sally's texting. You're telling Sean after the fact that she was texting and you're marking it down in his evaluation. Well, obviously he didn't see her texting or he would have called her on it, right? right. So it's a he said, she said. It's an administrator telling the teacher, look, you missed it. Every time you turn left, you missed it. And this guy's going, you liar. Because I, she didn't do this to me. And you're talking, this is, this is Sally, yeah. Yeah, yeah teacher and administrator over the behavior. Well, in a lot of states, his evaluation of him depends on his pay. And then he doesn't get the, the grade that he wants, and so then he's saying that this guy doesn't like me. Mm -hmm. it's, a recorded, it's a recorded class period, he's not trying to go after him. He's really just trying to help him be better. But then if you show him, just like showing a student a lesson over and over, you show Sean, look, when you turn left, you totally lose this class. And I'm just writing down some examples that we've had, but that's one question. Yeah. Is how would you know how can a teacher, how can an observation, a recorded observation, be beneficial? Well, it's because I can sit down and show them after. Some of our examples that we've had, and I can do the example. I can go back up and do examples. But we've had teachers come back to us and say, not as an evaluation, but just themselves, and say, I didn't realize I was always on the left side of the room. Or well, I always. So this, this yeah. Is, this is mainly for the teacher himself. Right? Yes, when, two, yeah. Two, the one I was just talking about with Sally is the evaluation. Okay. On the student that one first. Okay. And then there, there's one other side of this too. So I believe you have just single principals in every school in Central High School, correct? Correct. So there's a, there's always that good opportunity that you've got the principal in the classroom doing the evaluation and something happens that requires that principal to be yanked out of the room to go deal with the, deal with the emergency situation or whatever's going on in campus. So this would allow that evaluation to happen post. Um, the principal can watch that lesson even after the fact, so that frees the principal up for the rest of the day to deal, deal with other issues going on on campus, and they can review it after the, after the fact for the evaluation. The recorded evaluation should be like gold to a teacher. <coughs> okay, um, here's my question, Dr. Rowe. Oh, Dr. Rob, how is this observation beneficial for the teacher, the student, and the classroom? Well, Vern, if the, um, if the teacher and principal agree that they want to do a, a recorded um, observation of, of the teacher to provide for an annual evaluation or merely professional development, the, uh, the, uh, the video and audio capture of that lesson for evaluation is, is gold. That gives them the opportunity to sit down, two professionals looking at a screen, detached personally, and go over uh, the, uh, the lessons uh, of an effective lesson, the ability for that, that teacher to do his or her job, and the, the uh, quality of the instruction being provided, uh, classroom management, student behavior, uh, hitting the essential elements of the uh, effective lessons. Those kinds of things can be, can be stopped, reviewed, discussed, evaluated and then uh, the uh, student or the teacher and the principal can evaluate how they can do a better job. Uh, we haven't had that technology available in the classrooms before. Yeah, on, on separate incidences perhaps but not, not throughout a system. And how would, how, 
the same question in regards to a student and the teacher and the, an outside observating, uh, uh, observation mm -hmm. of an individual, such as an administrator looking into the classroom, how would it be beneficial in that case between the, about tell, explaining to the teacher what they can do better in the classroom so that they can perform as a stronger teacher on the subject matter? Well, certainly, if the uh, if the administrator and the teacher has a, a, the the ability to review the recorded uh, lesson uh, after its completion, to determine student engagement, their uh, social behavior in the classroom, um, are are they violating any uh, district policies and uh, regulations concerning the use of cell phones or texting or on playing on their computer when they were uh, to be engaged in the lesson of the day, uh, those things would be helpful on the teacher. Uh, knowing which which side of the classroom do they spend the majority of their time on? Are they only addressing the questions that are being asked by the boys? Are they only addressing questions asked by girls? Are they in, uh, are they not providing the adequate uh, exposure to all students to participate in the uh, question answer Socratic method of learning? To to be able to, to determine the strengths and weaknesses of their lessons, I think are critical. Okay, in a stronger soundbite for me, would you uh, would you tell me one more time? How does the system work for the administrator of the school district or of the individual school with the teacher? What is the relationship by watching a teacher in a classroom and how is that beneficial? A little stronger. Can you tell me just a little bit more about that relationship? I don't know. Do you have any advice on that? I, I have, that question, yeah. yeah, how do you make yeah. it stronger? The, the stronger, the, what I'm saying is, is that how can the system make it a stronger observation for the superintendent or the principal of the school to understand the relationship between the student and the teacher and recognizing what the teacher needs to do in order to become a stronger teacher in the classroom. And like recorded observations, I would go in a different direction. Okay. How can how can this system be used for a teacher to enhance their, their effectiveness in the classroom? And I would do that by number one, watching myself teach. And I'm going to recognize a number of my own faults just by watching it. I'm, I'm going to be far more critical of myself than Dr. Roberts would ever be. So how can a teacher use the system? So from a coaching from a coaching point of view, Dr. Roberts has been, been in the field. He's an expert at it. I'm a rookie. I'm still what, behind the ears. So um, my administrator, Jeff, be my administrator, might say, Sean, you want to watch Dr. Roberts. Dr. Roberts has some great stuff. And rather than me get a substitute, walk in, sit in Dr. Roberts' classroom and watch the interaction because we know that's going to change the dynamics of the classroom. We're going to record this lesson, and Dr. Roberts will record a lesson, and then I'm going to review it just no different than the, the principal would. And so I'm going to watch his techniques, I'm going to watch the way he dealt with his kids, I'm going to watch how he handled discipline issues. So as a, as a teacher, I'm going to improve my ability to teach kids because I've seen how he's reacting with his students, how he presented information, and then I can look at that and tweak, tweak the way I teach. Does that make sense? Good answer. What's the question? The exact, the exact question would be. The question is how how would we use ViewPath to improve improve a teacher's um, classroom instruction? Thank you. Yes. Okay. All right. So are you rolling? Yes, sir. Okay. How would you use View ViewPath to increase the overall improvement for the teacher? Well, Vernis, the first thing I would like a, the classroom teacher to do is to become comfortable with using the system, the ViewPass system. By, and by having them um, go on their computer, log on, turn it on, ha have it automatically record, and then provide that teacher with feedback for themselves as they critique their own instruction at the end of the instructional period. Uh, and then hopefully work with their, with their colleagues in professional learning communities or, or prep periods where they have uh, uh, time off together to sit and critique with their colleagues in a non-threatening environment of how they could do a better job. And those, those teachers that do an excellent job would be able to provide uh, themselves as a coach or mentor for other teachers with the same instructional responsibilities. The, uh, the ultimate goal is in working with the administrator that is oftentimes very experienced, very senior veteran uh, educator who has the ability to address with the teacher after the fact in, uh, in a, a non-confrontational mode that, is, that would be uh, designed to provide a, a, a adequate feedback for the improved academic, academic instruction of the teacher by viewing the lessons, checking for uh, 
Uh, one is the teacher teaching what they're supposed to be teaching. Are they following the curriculum? Are they following the district standards uh, of instruction? Uh, are there classroom um, management models uh, in line with the elements of an effective lesson? Are they doing what they're supposed to be doing? Are the teachers are, are they teaching the subject? Are students being actively engaged? And are the teacher uh, checking for understanding at the end of the lesson? And those kind of things that sitting down with the teacher uh, after the evaluation or after the observation has been recorded, um, the the professional mentors will be able to help the teacher uh, do a better job in the classroom providing instruction. Well, why don't you do the examples of the, the things that you've seen? Yeah, I just heard them from the I can tell you if you want to use them, or I can use them. But we'll <clears throat> that's where you might get. We'll, uh, we'll do that example. All right, Dr. Rob, uh, I, I understand there are some examples of how the system has been able to observe and allow for teachers to understand a little bit more about their classroom. Can you expand on that? Sure, Vern. You know, it's pretty amazing when a teacher actually has the opportunity to view their classroom instruction. And when they're sitting, uh, sitting there taking a look at what they did for the day, and they realize, hey, I spent all my time on the left side of the classroom. There happens to be a bank of windows over there, and I'm pacing back and forth over in that area, and I'm forgetting all about the kids on the right. Or if you have a, a, a tendency to uh, have a tick or always end up in your conversation of every other words, um, well, um, I don't know, um, I, let me think about that. Um, you don't necessarily know that when you're saying it, but if you can play it back and you can see it, as some of the teachers have, have done and told me, that, that they are more aware of their uh, facial expressions, how they respond to different students with issues, it makes a big difference. But we had one, one opportunity where a teacher was showing a video and had to turn the lights low, and only by the camera being on and recording the instructions saw the lights of the cell phones that the students took out when they were supposed to be watching the movie. But the teacher was in the back of the classroom and couldn't see that. So the camera captured the lights from the cell phones and the teachers did, could then uh, identify a problem with the students and ensure that that didn't occur again and that they were focused on the lesson at hand.